City of Love, home of the Arc de Triomphe, Eiffel Tower, all the other incredible sites, and La Gala TCG. So this is our first time traveling to France for a TCG card show, and it was insane. And as soon as we walk into the room, I bet you can spot someone very special in the background there. That's Mitsuhiro Arita, the original illustrator of the base set Charizard and many other incredible artworks within the Pokemon TCG. So we headed straight in and there was lots going on. So obviously there were signings with Mitsuhiro. Here is the big board at the back featuring a lot of the vendors. Massive shout out to Mr. Fuji, MJN Store and the team at La Gala for having us over as guests. It was crazy. It was honestly one of the best shows I've been to. And as you watch this video, you will see why. So lots on offer. There were Japanese. There were lots of French language products. Obviously we are in France. There were English cards as well. You'll get to see those in a bit there were tins booster boxes now the event was powered by ebay so they created lots of cool merch like hoodies and jumpers and custom cards which i'll show you in a bit but i had to pick some of those up myself and immediately we were bumping into collectors showing us some of the most incredible collections i've ever seen myself and dean also actually had a stand now we couldn't bring loads with us because we were traveling to france for the show we weren't driving we did fly in but we bought some slabs we bought some packs and a few people literally first thing on Saturday bought some packs and started ripping them open I've never seen anything like it so first up we had the pleasure of seeing a Neo Destiny pack get open literally right in front of us at our stand right here I want to say a massive shout out to the guys who bought these packs because I know you opened some other packs as well a little bit further into the weekend and got some crazy crazy hits we then had a fourth print base set on offer we had guaranteed hollow unlimited base set on offer so here you're seeing the fourth print base pack being open and again literally just ripping it as soon as buying it from us on our stand which is crazy it's not something that happens very often so i was very very pleased to see this happen live we got the nido king hollow which was insane and then the base unlimited pack now this was a guaranteed hollow pack so we knew that there were some goodies coming and yeah honestly the people we met at this event some of the nicest collectors i've ever come across overall it was so wholesome it was so good and we got spoiled because we got to see the base set Gyarados get pulled right there in front of us. Now I escaped for a little bit to have a wander around the event and as you can see Lorcana were there. They had a huge stand. Now I didn't actually get in there to look at too much of their product because it was so busy throughout the whole weekend but it was super cool to see their presence. There were lots of French grading companies. eBay had a big stage in the middle where they were holding interviews throughout the day. Then I headed over to my friend Marco's stand MS Paris and as always he's always got the fire. So many slabs on offer and some really 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 big cards you'll probably spot a few as i'm scanning over the slab cabinet right here people as always bring in their a game absolutely love that mew headed over to the other side of the stand there were some accessories we got the grade guards we got some more booster packs promos japanese boxes and then we're about to move on to the big stuff so there was a japanese uh base set theme deck which was pretty cool we had this graded game spinning on this um super aesthetic pleasing platform which nice. i love and then there it is that kangas khan trophy which you probably remember from my collector con vlog because it was featured with the little kangas khan plush before so it's really cool to see that again and then i continue to have a little wander around when i say this event was literally thriving busy with people from the morning all the way to the end of the day on both days because it ran over the saturday and sunday you literally couldn't move at some points there were so many people in there which just shows how good the show was because the turnout was so strong. So I started to spot lots of cool items. Again, a lot of it French language. Here is our stand. So we had loads of English cards, obviously, English booster packs. We had a few Japanese cards as well on offer. And we even bought our mystery packs with us. And someone who watches the channel decided to open one live in front of us, which was really, really cool to see. We then bumped into someone who won a booster pack of Legendary Collection while we did the Whatnot break. They got it graded and it came back a nine. So that was crazy to see in person. There's me being super cute in the Lorcana Mickey Mouse little stand. A bit cringe, but here we go. Had to do it. Okay, and then guys, the craziness continue. We sold another base set pack, and they wanted to rip it live in front of us. And boom, it was the first pack they had ever opened of base set 
and they hit the hollow Venusaur. It doesn't get much better than that. Also, was super lucky to see a little sandstorm pack opening as well, which was pretty cool. I then had the honor, and it would honestly, this was just insane seeing this in person. Mitsuhiro Arita did a session um, sitting actually on the eBay stage. We got to go and see that happening live, which was incredible. Someone else bought a mystery pack. They pulled a god pack, guys. It's the gold bonus pack with the five sun and moon packs inside. It was crazy. And again, I, I honestly, never seen so many people just ripping vintage packs in front of us. It was insane. On the way out, I spotted this stand. And I thought it might have been English, but it was French, but it was very, very cool to see. Now, in the evening on the Saturday, there was a dinner and a show and I have never ever seen anything like this at a TCG show before. It was incredible. There was a big dinner. It was in the most beautiful, beautiful venue. We had live music to listen to while we ate. We also had dancers performing. Honestly, I cannot express enough how incredible this event was. The whole weekend was just insane. And a real big highlight of the evening just before we went into the dinner, there was an exhibition showcasing some of the most incredible items in the Pokemon TCG in the world. Now you're gonna see what I mean by that because I don't know if I'll ever get to see some of these cards again, but here we have got the Snap Magikarp. We also had, can't believe I'm saying that out loud on a video of mine. We also had this incredible Rayquaza artwork all made from Pokemon cards. We also had the Snap Bulbasaur, honestly, I've never been in the presence of so many incredible cards in my life. These were the cards we actually got to hold in person earlier in the day, which was pretty cool to see those on display. Then something caught my eye, the Pikachu Illustrator, the number one Pikachu, the number two Pikachu in its original casing. Literally, it was overwhelming being surrounded by so many incredible collections. And a lot of these collections actually belong to people who were in the room and were at the event. So it was really, really cool to meet everyone who we hadn't met before and also see the cards. Massive shout out to Dubsy for showcasing one of the most incredible collections in the world. And I just had to do a little sneaky video with the number one trainer next to the other number one. It looks so good. We have the Ishihara GX. We have this incredible artwork here. Honestly, guys, it was just, it was 10 out of 10. And then after the show was over, we decided to have a little bit of downtime. We headed to Disney. I've never been to Disneyland Paris before, but I've heard it's the most magical place or one of the most magical places in the world. There's a few Disneys. But anyway, so myself, Dean, Zetro, the butler, we headed out for the day and we decided to just let loose and have fun. Hyperspace Mountain, I think was my highlight of the day. We also went on this ride. I can't remember what it was called, but in the background, I then spotted something, that haunted house. Now I never got to go inside it, but I'm definitely going back for that. Here's me looking wild in my little glasses on the Spider-Man ride, which was a little bit crazy. And guys, overall, we had a great day. So after Disney, we decided to head back to our hotel and this is where I had the chance to finally show you what we had signed by Arita. I chose to have my E3 Pika, the Pikachu with the little lightning coming out the cheeks, also had the most incredible card sketched and signed, the Giovanni's Persian with a Giovanni and a Persian sketch. It actually says to Chloe in Japanese on that one. We then got some prints with all the signings that we had done. So you got a little goodie bag with a little magazine and a couple of Mitsuhiro's um, prints, which was really cool. Also got this jumbo sign, which I think was just a really cool idea. It was kind of a last minute decision, but I'm glad we did it. We got the first edition Charizard signed as well. And then I wanted to show you a card that Dean had signed because I think the flames with this one coming out of Charizard's mouth just look incredible. And then it was time to chill out for the evening, have some drinks with friends. We had Dean, we had Marco, we had Zach, and we decided to rip some crazy packs. Now, this is the best part of these conventions, hanging out with friends, doing what we love, chilling out, our opening packs. It's not something I really do at home sitting opening Platinum Arceus, but I hit the jackpot pulling the AR. It wasn't the AR7, but I was super, super happy with that anyway, considering it was a little bit of one pack magic, but it didn't end there. We decided to keep ripping. So we had Zach and Marco open up some legendary treasures and the hits kept flowing because Marco only went and pulled the Pikachu from the Radiant Collection in Legendary Treasures. I absolutely 
absolutely love this card. We had Zetro pull in the hits as well. And then we had the Butler takeover. Guys, overall, it was one of the most incredible shows and weekends ever. And I can't wait to do it all again next year.